Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting question from radical equations. The given equation is cube root of 9 minus a square root x equal to 3 minus 6 root of x. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started this video by writing x must be positive due to 6th root of x for real solutions. Now I will use our substitution. Let us consider 9 minus square root x, this radicant term. I will consider equal to y. So from here I can write our first equation. I will take this term to the RHS. So it will give us square root x plus square root y equal to 9. And let us call this is equation number 1. Now I will write our equation. So equation will become cube root of 9 minus root x is root y. So I will write root y equal to 3 minus 6th root of x. Now this value is 6th root of y. How it is? It is y power half and then whole power 1 by 3. Using exponent property, we can take product in the powers. So, y power half times 1 by 3, which is equal to y power 1 over 6. So, I can write it as 6th root of y. So, let's write here 6th root of y equal to 3 minus 6th root of x. So I can take variable one side. So I can write 6th root of x plus 6th root of y equal to 3. And this I will call equation number 2. So equation 1 is root x plus root y equal to 9. Equation 2 is 6th root x plus 6th root y equal to 3. Let's write root x plus root y equal to 9 and 6th root of x plus 6th root of y equal to 3. This is our new system of equations. Now I will consider a straightforward substitution. Let us put x is equal to a power 6 and y equal to b power 6. So I will write both the equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Let me write here equation 1 and equation 2 after substitution. So square root x will be a cube. Square root y will be b cube. It is 9, first equation. And 6th root of x, it will be a. 6th root of y, it will be b. And right hand side is 3. Now this is convenient system of equation. I will consider second equation first. So I will write a cube plus b cube equal to 9. And a plus b equal to 3. I will write a plus b whole square first. So let me write here a plus b equal to 3. And then consider squaring both sides. This is 1, this is 2. Now a plus b whole square formula. a square plus b square plus 2ab equal mm -hmm. to 9. So from here I can write a square plus b square equal to 9 minus 2ab. This is I will call equation 3 and which we will use while simplifying this one. Let us write equation number 1 now. a cube plus b cube equal to 9. a cube plus b cube formula. So I can write a plus b in one bracket. a square plus b square minus ab in second bracket equal to 9. Now a plus b it is 3. 
so I will write here 3 times a square plus b square it is equation 3 9 minus 2 a b after that minus a b equal to 9 now I can cancel 3 and 9 by writing 3 over there so this equation is turning into 9 minus 3 a b equal to 3 its easiest form equation is divisible by 3 so I can write here 3 minus a b equal to 1 3 minus a b equal to 1 now I will rearrange so I can write a b to the right so it will become a b and this side I can write 3 minus 1 so a b is equal to 2 once a b is 2 now we can write a plus b the second equation of the system it was 3 so here we have sum of roots and then product of roots sum of roots product of roots so let's frame one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b so i can write a square minus sum of roots so 3 times variable that is a plus product of roots it is 2 right hand side 0 now i can factorize directly or i can use quadratic formula let us factorize i can write a square this i will be writing minus a minus 2a plus 2 equal to 0 now a is common from first 2 a minus 1 minus 2 is common from last 2 a minus 1 equal to 0 a minus 1 times a minus 2 equal to 0 from here conclusion is a equal to 1 a equal to 2 now a was our substitution x is equal to a power 6 so let me write here x is equal to a power 6 so i will write here a equal to either 1 or 2 i will take power 6 both sides so a power 6 will be 1 power 6 2 power 6 and this is nothing but x so x is equal to 1 and 64 these are our real solutions let's verify let's cross examine so i will write here verification let's apply x is equal to 1 first so i will be writing here the equation is i will be writing cube root 2 9 minus square root 1 lhs rhs is 3 minus 6th root of 1 so i will write cube root of 9 minus 1 equal to 3 minus 6th root of 1 is 1 now i will write cube root of 8 equal to 2 it is true as we know cube root of 8 is 2 cube so these two will be cancelled out lhs equal to rhs hence verified that means x is equal to 1 is true solution let's check x is equal to 64 x equal to 64 now i will apply x 64 in lhs so i can write cube root of 9 minus square root 64 then i will be writing rhs as 3 minus 6th root of 64 now cube root of 9 minus square root 64 is 8 right hand side 3 minus 6th root of 64 is 2 power 6 now 6th root and power 6 will be cancelled out and left hand side it is cube root of 1 right hand side it is 3 minus 2 cube root of 1 is 1 and right hand side is 1 hence this is also verified
and this brings the end of this video thank you so much for watching friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye